Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We are from group 7 Company name is Bunda Jaya Group Berhad We will present about the proposal of analysis economic for the company First of all, my name is Nizah Asrabi Mak Supri Metric number C F180055 My group member are Nur Ahmad Farangin binti Ahmad Nur Shafika binti Muhammad Nur Ridwan bin Bukhari And Ahmad Robani bin Abdul Latif First of all, the introduction will be presented by Nur Rizwan bin Bukhari Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nuri Zwan bin Bukhari My metric number is CF180041 For my part, I will explain about introduction First of all, for company background Founded in 2003 Located at Mutiara Damansara, Shah Alam Selangor Operate in four segments Construction, property development, trending and plan hiring and manufacturing Started with the strategy approach to tendering and project planning for mission To continuously improve performance by meeting international quality standard timely completion, customer satisfaction and enhancement of shareholder value for vision to be the preferred leader in the construction and property development industry Next, for project background Develop a new private college which is located at Batu Pahat The total area is about 5 hectare which was of RM100 million with duration of 5 years Consists of lecture hall, staff room, toilet and other facilities to establish as many private college as possible so many students can get access to education. Parties involved in the project, first the architecture, design and preliminary stage, second is landscape architecture, third is civil engineer, next contractor and quantity surveyor. That's all. Metric number CF180092 I will present about our company financial management We have a total revenue of 393.8 million compared to 760.1 million in 2018 To improve the net, we consider various feasible financing options because we want to further our strength in balance sheets Strong balance sheets reflect our business model, placing financial strength and sustainability at the forefront here shows the bar graph of loss or profit before tax. The result obtained increased and decreased from 2015 to 2019. Second bar graph shows loss attributable to owners of the company. The result obtained also increased and decreased. The third bar graph shows total assets. We obtained the result slightly decreased from 2015 to 2019. And the last bar graph shows equity attributable to owners of the company. The result also slightly decreased from 2015 to 2019. Here's the details of directors' remunerations. It includes directors' fees, salaries, bonus, defined contribution plan, fees allowance, meeting attendance allowance, and benefits in kind. It also has audit and non-audit fees. For employer share option scheme ESOS, not more than 50% of the options available under ESOS because we allocate in aggregate to directors and senior management. 28.6% of the option granted under ESOS has been granted to directors and senior management. For directors' interest in share, total amount of sum issue and premium paid to directors and officers are 25 million and 27 million respectively. For statement of financial position, we have assets, equity and liabilities of our company, for statement of profit and loss and other comprehensive income, include continuing operations, gross profit, result from operating activities, loss of profit before tax, loss of profit for continuing operations, discontinued operations, loss of profit for the year, and other comprehensive incomes, which is net of tax items that are more, they are or maybe reclassified subsequently to profit or loss. Lastly, we have loss or diluted loss. For ordinary share. For statement of change in equity, this shows from 1 January 2018 and 21 December 2019. It has share capital, treasury shares, employee share option reserve, and retained earnings. For statement of cash flow, we have a cash flow from operating activities and operating profit before change in working capital. Cash flow from investing activities, cash flow from financing activities, and net cash or generated from financing activities. For cash and cash equivalents, we have cash and bank balance, deposit plus with financial institutions, and data deposits. 
for cash outflow for leases as a lease. We have two operating activities and financing activities. For operating, it has payment and interest. For financing, we have pay repayment of lease liabilities. That shows a uh, seven step to effective decision making. First, understand your problem. So the company issue is project was delayed. Second, investigate the issue. The issue is pandemic COVID-19. Then define the set of feasible alternatives. We found three ways, which is first extend the time, change contractors or cancel the tender. Fourth, identify the criteria for decision making. If we extend the time, it involves time to resume interrupted work. Or if we change contractors, we have to find a new skill and train contractor. If we cancel the tender, the work process will be terminated. Fifth, evaluate the alternative and apply sensitivity analysis. If we extend the time, we have to draft a project management schedule and submit the draft for approvals. Or if we change contractors, we might have wasted our time and energy and also the material cost increase during pandemic COVID-19. Or if we cancel the tender, our company might be lost and the building will be abandoned. Six, select the best alternative. Our company chose extended time. Seven, implement the alternative and monitor results. We have to submit the schedule for approvals. My name is Ahmad Rabani bin Abdul Latif. My metric number CF180031. For my part is project management. First is life cycle costing. For financial examination coordinated no matter what related with the development activity and upkeep of development project. Decide the all out expense of responsibility for resource. Assess the general expense cost in entire life cycle and screen the expense for the duration of the existing pattern of an assets. Influence the future cost required by arranging the utilization and activity of a resource or keeping up the asset. Begin with plan investigation, choose or create model, apply model, report and survey result, get ready life cycle cost examination and finish with execute and observe life cycle cost examination. Analyze acquisition pace and operation pace. Acquisition pace uh, such as needs or wants, preliminary design and detailed design. Operation pace is construction, O&M, disposal. Potential for life cycle cost saving is of course how much total cost budget to use from start until finish the project. For cumulative life cycle cost, this is a cumulative all cost for the project based on the schedule. For WBS diagram, for our private technical college, we have uh, 11 elements. First is feasibility studies, design, brick procurement, preliminaries, five piling, infrastructure work, seven structural works, architectural works, m and &E works, and testing and commissioning, and lastly is CCC and CF inspection. Feasibility studies, we have first of course for feasibility studies, second need analysis, uh, third benefit cost ratio, fourth is EIA, feasibility recommendation, and lastly is anal analysis feasibility report. For the design, first is architectural design, structural design, and this MEP design, interior design, and lastly is design recommendation. Bid procurement, first is contractor pre-qualifications, Second is contractor qualification. Third, contract contractor award recommendation. For preliminaries, we have mobilization, site clearing, boundary block survey, perimeter hoarding, project signboard and marketing signage, temporary power supply, water supply, site office, labor table camp, power crane, and lastly construction drawing instruments. For piling works is first setting out, load test, and lastly taking uh, SB drawing. For infra works. First at work, road walkway and drains, internal sewerage, water reticulations, sewerage treatments, landscaping works, perimeter fencing, and infra works. For structural works, first of course, pile cap excavations and link on, pile plug, pile cap, ground beam, upper beam, slab, and lastly of course, roof beam. For architectural works, first external walls, doors, windows, internal walls, and partitions. Sanitary fitting installations, internal floor finishes, internal wall finishes, internal ceiling finishes, external finishes. For MNE works is of 
called water piping, soil and waste pipes, ELB and LB electrical installations, high voltage electrical installation, substations, fire protection installations. Okay. Testing and commissioning. First, of course, we test the TMB substation, internal panel plumbing, internal sanitary, internal electrical works, water, water regulations, telecommunication works, fire protection works, sewerage work, and lastly, HTP systems. For the last step is CCC and CF inspections. Of course, first is TNB. Uh, after that, we Suruhan Jai Communikasi and Multimedia or MCMC, JKKP, SME or WK or Indah Water for STP. Bombo inspection, JKR. And uh, after that, final cleaning for handling over and insurance of handling over certificates. Ms. Niza Ashraf bin Matsukri, my metric card number is CF180055. I will explain about the benefit cost ratio. For the past project, our project R, MRT Sungai Buloh to Serdang to Putrajaya SSP line. So, for the monorail charge to passenger is about 450,000 and uh, the rental receipt for the monorail and railway station is about 500,000. The convenience uh, benefit to the local communities is about 130,000 and additional tourism income for Kuala Lumpur and Selangor is equal to 650,000 and this total are equal to 1,730,000. First, we use table 19 or the calculation. We use I 50% per year and N 15 years. Our PW benefit for PW are 10 million 116,000 for the investment uh, 960,000 uh, for the operation and maintenance are uh, 6 million 422,000 the market value are uh, 18,435 for the AW the uh, benefit are about 1 million and 730,000 uh, for the investment is 164,000 operation and maintenance are uh, about 1 million and 100,000 and the market value is 3,153 ringgit so, for the present works of this project, the conventional we get 1.372 which are larger than 1.0. For the modified, we get a 3.912 also uh, bigger than 1.0. So, it's same like annual works. Uh, the conventional we get 1.372 which are bigger than 1.0 and the modified also 3.912 which are bigger than 1.0. So, by this calculation of benefit ratio, as the B and D benefit and cost ratio are more than 1.0 project are extended which we can proceed the project so for the project of private college construction uh, the rental receipt uh, from student by transport station such as bus are uh, equal to 800,000 the fee charge to student which are the fee that student pay every year are uh, equal about 50 million the convenient benefit for the community also are 30 million and additional income that we get from the cafe and co-op is equal to 25 million so the total of this cost are equal 105 million thousand eight hundred and for the total of this cost are equal to 105 million eight hundred thousand so we using the i 10 percent per year and period is five year which we use table 15 so for the benefit we calculate and we get 410 million for the investment we calculate and we get 205 million uh, operation and maintenance we get 11 million and the market value we get are uh, 49 million so for the aw uh, also the same 105 million uh, for benefit investment 55 million operation and maintenance of uh, 2 million 950 and the market value are 13 million 104 so for the present works of the project uh, we calculate the conventional benefit cost are equal to 2.463 which are bigger than 1.0 for the modified we calculate and we get 2.568 which are also bigger than 1.0 for the annual works uh, we calculate for the conventional we get 2.409 also uh, bigger than 1.0 and for the modified we calculate and we get 2.510 which also bigger than 1.0 so for this calculation for the benefit cost ratio that we get and we calculate uh, more the 1.0 which the project uh, can be extended as required. Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Nur Shafiqah Binti Muhammad. My metric number is F180110. So in conclusion, this project requires a proper management to handle this project, especially in terms of economic value analysis. Then it should contain a comparison between of the comparison and maintenance costs that desire element in taking decisions process on the construction sites. Next, there is an optimum combination of elements depends on architectural form, structure, function, utility, type of materials used and also location for this project. Lastly, this project we're about to implement principles of sustainable idea that support a balance between economic, environment and also social aspects. That's all from our group. Thank you.